Okay, so we are going to do the AP Axial Towns 10 by 12 cassette portrait for this. Now, if I can utilize my patient's OML, I want to make their OML perpendicular to the IR. So specifically what I'm going to be looking here is the orbitomedial line, so the line from the outer campus through the EAM. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have Libby tuck her chin for me. And Libby's able to tuck her chin sufficiently that that line is perpendicular to the table. So I know I can use a 30 degree caudal tube tilt. So you are going to have to adjust your SID to the 30 degree line. And I'm going to go 30 degrees caudal. Go ahead and move my tube. Line up my bucky. Make sure with this much of a tube tilt that you pull your cassette out and that you're able to see your central ray of the cassette. I want to be mid sag for this. And two and a half inches above the labella, which for most people is usually right at about the hairline. Since this is the skull, make sure you are seeing light above the vertex. If not, compensate your central ray. I'm going to come to the head of the table. Make sure my patient isn't tilted or rotated. Make sure LML is still perpendicular. I'm going to have Libby tuck a little bit more again for me. And you are able to collimate to the outer margins of the skull. And then just asking your patient to hold still is sufficient for this. So I'll say hold still and click.